Do you want me to check on him? I'm afraid he's taken too much risk already. And what if he's compromised and he doesn't want to ask for help? But yes, yes, please. Sending you his location. Good to see you, Telesi. Hello everybody, my name is Sky. I am your friendly neighborhood autistic person full of random useless facts, and today we are getting back into Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. In the last stream, we took time to take out all of the RDA encampments, so that now the map is polluted free. We are going to spend this stream finishing up and completing all side quests that we can. If they are doable, we're going to do them today. We're going to start off with the black wind side quest if you remember we had a storm glider who unfortunately lost her mate to the rda and has become too dangerous to be allowed to stay in the wild i hope everybody's having a wonderful day and still has their sight after the eclipse Good morning, honey. They showed new gameplay for the new Destiny expansion. Not getting my hopes up, but some stuff does look really cool. Well, that's nice. Oh, this is Wings Mountain. That'd be why. I was like, why am I not seeing it? Hi, Munchkin boy. Hello. Let's go, Telisi. Hi, buddy. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday, Munchkin Man. You're a year old. Maybe another time. There she is. What 
Let's put black wind out of her misery. Your sorrow can end, for your spirit is with Ewa now. Rinella? It's done. Are you alright? Not sure yet. When I was facing her, I didn't have time to think. She didn't hesitate. Somehow that helped. But now... She's with Ewa now. Priya told me humans do this all the time. Try to control things they spun out of control in the first place. Their plan is always to shoot, poison, and chop. And they never stop to ask why they had to do that in the first place. We won't let them ruin Pandora the way they did their home. I'm sending you something. I thought maybe you could honor her journey and her battle this way. So we never forget Blackwind. Thank you for these gifts. And so the black wind is down. Let's see here. Let's talk to, I spent time looking around for superior radar mushrooms. This might be, the celebration mural might be one that we have to wait to do. Because I could, genuinely could not find any. So let's work on flavors of the past. Rezu is worried about Satral and she's been in a bad mood. So let's go see if we can't talk to them. At the Crooked Seat Camp in Clouded Forest. Where is Crooked Seat? Perch. Ah, there you are. Did you sent you a pic I took of him last night? Let me see. You need to see pictures of the little baby. No, he looks so cute. He's just a little boy. Just a munchkin boy. What I would not give to trade with the Zeswa again. Our Upper Plains friend does not quite play the Zeswa or Cometaria instrument the same way as the Cometaria do. All right, where is this person? There they are. Shh. 
He is just so stubborn. A moment, if you could, of your time to help with... Yes, to help my friend. We had an old trading post here, once. It was Setral's joy before it was shut down. She does not speak of the past, but I know it occupies her thoughts, especially now. I think seeing a Sarentu might have reminded her of those earlier times. I understand. It's been a while since other clans visited. Indeed. Setra's trading post once brought people together. The finest food and drink with even finer company. Arkan Eppe in particular was well loved by tired travelers. Wait. Yes. Perhaps you could seek out our friends in the Aranahe and Zeswa. Trade them our famous Kan Eppe and bring something back for Setral. I can see the look on Setral's face already. Perfect. Relun and Kin. They're the authorities on cooking in their clans. Then they will know how to appreciate a good Kan Eppe. The finest combination of sage, mushroom and nectar. You look like... Okay. <clears throat> Recipes. Oku. Skanepe. I have some there, but it doesn't say a cool specifically. I guess it's fine. Why did it back out? Seriously, what the... Okay, I'll just pin it instead. You got out of the pretty side of the hammock. Ah, oh, shoot, actually. Is this correct? The result of Okul's experimentation. Okay. Because, like, it... <clears throat> that's something that a lot of people have been struggling with when it comes to the recipes. There's your usual recipes, like, let's say, this Nitsuki, and then there's somebody else's Nitsuki. And it's like, it's the same thing, it's just usually superior quality of products and stuff like that. And so they specifically say, a cool is on that bay, but it doesn't give his name with it. But I think it's correct, because it does have one of two. We're missing a superior sage shroom, unfortunately. Shoot. Hey, buddy, don't chew. Do not chew on... I had said, okay, don't do that. Rare sage are found near dragon mushrooms. That does not help at all. In the meantime, we'll take the recipe that we do have already made to Ken in the circle because we need to talk to Ken anyway about something else. And we'll keep our eye out for superior sage mushrooms. I can unpin this.
but I fear they have not yet learned to smile. Welcome, stranger. Try our cheeses. Enjoy our games. Kin, I'm here to trade on behalf of Setral, of the Kametire. Setral? There is a name I have not heard in a while. I hope she is well. And I hope you have brought me an epe. You're in luck. <laughs> Wonderful. Both the process of making and savoring an epe is fascinating. One does not drink it. Every sip is part of a greater exchange, you see? For those who are patient, who feel what the an epe is trying to express, they will make it past the dank, pungent barrier and uncover a rich, diverse range of flavors. Returning to it is like resuming a conversation with a dear friend. Here is some Zakru milk. Give Setral my best. That's right. It's pronounced Epe. I completely forgot. Because I will say that the different clans pronounce this one dish similarly but differently. The Zeswa put less on the front part of it, so it kind of have more of a Zanepe to it. The Zeswa say not that, that Epe. They put a click in there instead. And if I remember correctly, the Aranahe clan, they go K Epe. K Epe. Which is very interesting to me. It also makes it harder to learn the language. Uh, we needed to talk to Ken about something else while we're here. That's odd. Weird. This wasn't blocked before. Literally, all we were supposed to do was go and talk to. My we were supposed to talk to him, Ken, about the fact that we had made so many contributions. Why'd it block out? It wasn't blocked out originally. Weird. Oh well, keep on keeping on. Let's go listen to Takari's story. Remember, we need to keep an eye out for a sage mushroom. But let's listen to Takari's story at Boulder Gap Camp in the Cloud of Forest. Also, hi, Jimmy. Why do they like metal so much? I hear it is forged in fire. Takatli, if you would. An untold age ago, an old warrior set out to walk a fabled path surrounded by mists that would only end in death. Nearing the frayed ends of his mortal thread, the old man did not fear death, but welcomed it. But death took its time, and so the old warrior pondered his path. On the highest of peculiar stone clouds was a tree draped in a reverie of crimson hues. It was the most beautiful tree the warrior had ever seen. Then he came across a weeping colossus, and befriending it, was allowed to climb atop its head and hear it whisper its sorrows. Finally, he snuck past a gargantuan that was not of this world and sought refuge behind gnarled roots. The warrior chuckled at how his hands shook. It was here at last he stared down death in the form of a winged beast adorned in a hideous, unnatural carapace. As he fell to the beast, the warrior understood this path he walked now. He had sought out death, and death told him to choose life. Can I ask what it all meant? For Manwe, any story was preferable to the one we Kametire had been shackled to. He wanders with his sad pouch of seeds. Like the warrior, he has no fear of death. We have some hints as to what he'll be looking for in the story. 
That's a good start, I think. I will await your return. And my friends. All right, let's follow the story. Uh, he started off by going to the Stone Cloud Valley, which is all the way over here. He searched among the stone clouds, which are the floating mountains, over the great stone swamp. There he found a tree draped in crimson hues. I'm frustrated that we don't have the ingredients to make the second uh I'm gonna do Ape. Uh because I did have a few superior mushrooms. I fed them all to Tilisi though. While we were flying around looking for the radar mushrooms. And I always do that. I end up giving the ingredients that I need to use to Tilisi. You like it? That looks like a tree draped in red. Do you think you might have been talking about that one? Floating clouds, was it? These seeds... Manuel was here at some point, maybe. After coming across the crimson draped tree, the warrior found the tallest weeping colossus and climbed the bowl at the top of its head to hear its sorrows. Hmm, that can only mean one place.
to the bowl at the top of its head. Probably went to one of the islands, I'm assuming. Battery went to the very tippity top of it. We could try that as well. Yeah, yeah. No update, so he must have landed somewhere around here. He climbed to the bowl at the top of its head to hear its sorrows. But where? Do I maybe have the wrong Weeping Colossus? No. This has to be it. We're just not finding the right spot. Where could he have gone? And how do I get back? Eh, didn't quite make that. 
Oh, off the edge it is. Must be around here somewhere. But if it was, it would be updating. <sighs> hey, Oliver? No. Bastard keeps trying to get behind the TV. Hello, Sanska, welcome in. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, it has to be up here. This is the biggest weeping colossus with a bowl in its head. <laughs> so why isn't it updating? Where exactly did he stop at? Okay, I am confused at this point. It should definitely be here. Why are you mowing, Munchkin Man? What's wrong? What's up, buddy? This is definitely the right area. Because, like, where else would he go?
Yes, I'm Googling it. Keep your judgments to yourself. I'd rather spend 10 seconds of Googling than 20 minutes of flying around in the wrong area. Hi, Munchkin Boy. You ready to lay down? Be comfy? Yeah, we're in the right area. It is this. We just haven't found where exactly where he landed, but we're in this right space. I guess we'll just keep looking around for wherever he could have sat down at. This is frustrating. I feel like we're more than close enough for it, the game to give me a marker of some kind, you know? Baskets. Weeping Colossus, I guess. And these seeds. Manwe came here. Alright. East of the Weeping Colossus. Into the Cascading Stones. The warrior snuck past a gargantuan that was not from this world and hid near the base of a shadowed arch by the river. Well, there's quite a few shadowed arches. But a gargantuan, not this world. I know your first instinct is probably this base right here, but this story was told before the RDA, if I remember correctly. We'll try here. And we'll just fly along the arches. Come along, Talisi. Hello, accurate. And Simon, hello everybody. Yeah. The gang's all here. Are you having fun, Munchkin Boy? He found one of his old toys.
in a circle around the base of the arches. Yeah. See if we can't find where he went. But it'll be much harder to find while Whoa. it's dark out. I don't think this is it because it would have updated the quest. Yeah, I don't see anything. Till next time. I guess we'll just keep checking. We'll go along the border. Check the next one. This one feels right. I think it's around here. Yeah, this one feels yeah. right. Just need to find the right spot. Ooh, there's a cave. Real quick, we're gonna pop into the cave, see if maybe there's any shade mushrooms. Munchkin man, you gotta calm down, okay? You're doing too much. He's so feisty, but you're doing too much, okay? You need to calm down. Sage mushrooms, not good quality. Also not good quality. You're not missing too much, Simon. 
<clears throat> I'm trying to find, we are following an old warrior's story. And he said the nomad warrior hid near the base of the shadowed arch by the river. It's even named Nomad's River, and this is Shadowed Cove. It has to be around here. We just need to find the right area. But yeah, just vibing. We're doing, uh, yeah. Actually, I completely forgot what I'm supposed to do. West. Okay, buddy boy, you're being too much. You're getting too extra, okay? need to calm down. I don't want to put you in jail on your birthday. Okay, he has to be around here somewhere. Yes. Footprints. Not be. Ran for their life, judging by the distance. But who was it? Caught by surprise. Killed in a fight by someone. Were they ambushed? An old pouch. Musky smell. And seeds. Manua carries these around. Where is he? Not the arrows. Scattered. Fired one after another in a panic. Wasn't expecting the RDA. Maybe it's linked to... RDA and Notvi bump into each other. Notvi might be rusty with a bow, takes a few out. Could be Manwe. I wonder if... A Natvi fled the scene, not before dropping a pouch smelling of those seeds. Manwe's favorite. A lone Natvi, possibly Manwe, bumps into RDA. Neither side prepared. Natvi takes down a few RDA, then escapes. Drops a pouch with a distinct odor. The smell... strong enough to track. Whoever you are, hold tight. Did he go into the cave that we were just in? Manwe? Are you hurt? I'm fine. Just a bit of bruising here and there. The Sky People did not expect I had some fight in me. Ha. <laughs> Neither did I. Why did you come out by yourself? Takatri's story? Yes. It led me to stumble across the Sky People. And so many of them. 
I think old man Wei gave them a scare, eh? They even sent out one of their hideous metallic Ikran. However, I have brought them here for a reason. This area is rife with hives that will hinder them in ways arrows cannot. <laughs> I will teach them a harsh lesson about this land. Oh. After a rest, yes, just a slight rest. Easy, Manwe. They're gone. The Sky People, gone? Even that flying metallic monstrosity? Flying metallic monstrosity. There wasn't one. The Sky People are dealt with. It's safe to go home now. Home. It has been a lifetime. After you, your people were taken from us. I have not been back since. I came out here expecting death, but I have been a corpse wandering aimlessly for a long time. Takari feared you took her story too literally. Only a tale, yes, of course. I only wanted to follow this story to see if I was meant for death. <laughs> you sought out death. And you're still in one piece. When death revealed itself to me, as those sky people... Oh, 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 you should have seen me. I too chose life, if only for that moment. But your flattery does not change the truth. This conclusion, this battle you won, it will be your story to tell, not mine. Nice, we tracked down Munway so we can head back to Takiri. Takari? Takari. At Boulder's Gap. Shoot, gotta track that back down. Where was it? Um, crooked Seat. Boulder's Gap. Peace. Manwe came to see me again. A bit worse for wear, but ever the comforting presence as usual. Did he, um, ask for another story? He did not. And I have a feeling he will have less use of my stories now. The warrior chose life the moment he set foot on that path. Manwe has not realized this yet. But he felt it. He's a lot more clever than he knows. There's hope for him. Yes. He thinks this was your story to tell, not his. And he is wrong. Inside the Kamet Tire, many Manwes. They will soon learn to make their own stories again. And I look forward to telling them. Yours as well, Sarentu. Until we meet again. All right, another side quest Perhaps done and dusted. Thanks for the fine vine shroom that I don't need. Let's see here. We have another king gore that needs to be returned to the forest. Let's go ahead and get it over with. Let's just get it done. It's going to take us some time. Ugh. But let's just do it and get it done. Most likely, it, they are going to send us across the way to this, because we did find a King War tree out here. You are courting trouble. Sometimes I like to sit among the King Law. I have never tried it myself, but I can understand that. Oh, 
come. More king law are ready to leave home tree. Ha! Huh. Have you come looking for a new queen? You are in luck. Soon, the king law will not need our help anymore. They will fill each nest themselves as balance is restored to the forest. When my mother was here, I relied on her to steer me in the right direction. After she was gone, I had to learn to trust my own instincts, sometimes against everyone else. Trust the queen to know where she needs to go. And in turn, she will trust you to take her there. Let's go. All right. Help the King War Queen find a new home. There's a place for her to rest east of the High Loom Camp. East of the High Loom Camp. So somewhere along this route. It is a good thing to collect the gifts of Ewa with our hands. I'm gonna set a marker for the general whereabouts of the High Loom. I hope everybody's doing well and having a good day and existing. I'm here. No, the war is madness. The forest thrives again. Is this your doing? Making my way downtown, walking slow, cause the king or queen is miles, a little bitch. Diddly diddly dee. Why can't I run? Diddly diddly dee. That's High Loom right there. And they said that there was a tree where she could rest to the east. That is a lot of east. Thank you, Ewa, for these gifts. You are Sarentu. Hello. Yeah, Munchkin Man had wet food yesterday, so today he'll have some treats, and maybe we'll get the catnip out for him, because his brain recently accepted catnip. Uh, fun fact about cats, they do not react to catnip right away. Uh, if a cat has never been introduced to catnip and they reach adulthood, then it takes usually about a month or two of exposure to catnip for the receptors to actually activate correctly. Uh, whereas when it comes to kittens, if they're put around catnip as their kittens, they usually start being able to react to it at about a year old. And uh, Munchkin Man has reached that point. He now reacts to catnip, so he could, he'll get a little bit of catnip as well. All right, before we go downhill, I want to check around, make sure we can't see the place where it's supposed to rest. Would be more enjoyable if I did not have to spend it running around. 
because it said it was to the east of the High Loom camp, and that's High Loom right there. So we'll travel a little bit east. How stressful are these to you? Ah, oh, not too bad. We can use those if we need to. I don't see a king or tree anywhere. Just frustrating. Hello? Please come. I have something to share. There is a place for her to rest east of the High Loom camp. There is a lot of east of the High Loom. Where east? Oliver is Munchkin Man. Chicken's real name is Wednesday. So there's Oliver Munchkin Man and Wednesday Chicken. This is on me. I should have Googled where the resting spot was since we already had an idea where the tree itself was. that down there? It's hard to tell. Ow. I still stand by. I think, I think I it's stupid them. that the game does not give you a marker for this. You are sorry to. Hello. Especially considering that supposedly you're following the king or queen. Like at the beginning, the Atua tells you like you're following the king or queen to where she wants to go for her new home. So why are there no markers for me to follow? Why am I just wandering aimlessly? Fuck it, I'm googling it right now before we get too far away from where it possibly is and resets all the way back to the home Let's tree. Let's keep an eye out for a tree where we could rest. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. But they, they don't put markers down, which is stupid. Uh, Steady Wings 3. I hate advertisements. This is fucking stupid. This ad is literally taking up the entire page. The entire page, except for a small section at the bottom. Okay, before the ad covered it back up. A very inappropriate ad, I might say. What the fuck, IGN? What, why are you, what the fuck, why are you doing that? Hey, honey, help me remember to put in a report on IGN. Yeah, it was somewhere around there before the ad covered the very inappropriate ad covered it up. That's not. Why the fuck is it gaming? 
website allowing those kinds of ads on it. And before you say, oh, your advertisements are based on what you look at, I don't look at that stuff. It should not be advertising that stuff. That's on IGN side for sure. My usual ads are, here's this Disney thing you can buy. I'll be careful. Sorry. Let's calm down. Well, I'm trying to get her where she needs to go. Before I possibly lose her entirely. And if we need to go a little bit fast to get there, it's fine. Ah, shit. Sorry, I I'll try to be more careful. It's me, and I'm looking for a king or tree. Have you seen one? It looks like it was right around here somewhere. Like the first one, fun, cute, nice, lets me enjoy Pandora at a slower pace for a little bit. Second one, alright, this is kind of annoying, I don't want to really do this anymore, by the third one I'm done. I hate doing this. Why can't you fucking do I it? I know you're stressed. Just hang on. We'll find a flower. Ah! Lost the queen. What do you mean lost the Good night, Simon. At least I'm not the only one. I googled up, a, I'm looking for a different map that's not from IGN. <laughs> and I came across, I fucking hate Steady Wings. At least I'm not the only one. Okay. I was just slightly off. Probably went right past it and didn't even notice. I thought it was some kind of new dye. No, it is only more of the sky people's tint. All these commenters hate steady wings for the same reason I do. We're supposedly following the King or Queen, and yet we don't get a marker for where we need to go. If we're following something, we should get a marker, should we not? All right, let's go, you picky bitch. My friend, it's time we found you a new nest. We're jogging at least part of the way and you're gonna deal with it.
not invite chaos. It's only name calling if they're not actually the name. Exactly. Then it's just being descriptive. I did not call the king or queen a bad name. I described her. There is always the need for another twist. Life can be pretty lush here. Mine would be more enjoyable if I did not have to spend it running around. Slowly, steady, each step will get you closer to your new home. All right, trees in this area. I am still not seeing it. The tree we're looking for is very similar. It's a smaller version of the King War tree. So it's big and it's at a slight angle. And it's covered in King War flowers. No, you can't help me with this. I wish you could, though. There it is. Drink, bitch. We can always meet back here if something goes wrong. All right, there is a place for her to rest east of a peninsula near the Threaded River. Are we not going this way? How many steady wings are there? East of the Threaded River. We could be going that way. Maybe we'll turn across it. That's the easiest route to take. 
Take the vine. I think there's something, <clears throat> they're like string mutes or something like that. You put them across the neck of your instrument and it mutes your strings for you. So that way you can still play but it doesn't have as much noise. I could be incorrect about that, but I feel like I remember there was something that you could use to mute your strings because Slow, my cousin steady. who played guitar had the same issue. To your new home. His brother would go to sleep and he wouldn't be able to practice anymore, so he found this like piece of plastic that like you put along your strings and it mutes them all they might make, make something similar to that for your ukuleles so you can play while your sister is asleep Hell yeah, Accurate. That's awesome. I'm happy for you. Yay. I think I can see it already. What is it, Heidi? Oh, is Munchkin Man in your spot? Well, you can come sit with me. Hi, sweetheart. Mama's best kitty and Mama's favorite kitty. Mama loves her hiding.
Don't touch me. Ouch! Not good. Rude. Oh no, you look stressed. Let's find you a flower soon. I swear to God, Queen, you better not fly away on me. up there there we go um hello is this not the right tree I swear to God, if she flies away. Is this not the right tree? This has to be it. What the actual fuck? Seriously, this this has to be it. Help the King Warf uh, east east of a peninsula near the thread. This is it. This is it. Why isn't it working? Like this is this is it. I know you're stressed. Just hang on. We'll find a flower. I'm fucking looking at one, but she's being a picky bitch. This is literally it. Like I'm even looking at a map. This is it. Steady Wings Part Three, East of the Threaded River. I am literally sitting on the tree that they have pictured. This is it. Why isn't it working? Seriously, what the fuck? Like, I am literally on it. <sighs> I hate doing these quests. Understand. This is it. This is the tree. There's nowhere else for her to go. I guess just fly away. All good, yes? 
Let's have another go at it then. Jesus, you scared me. Maybe I can learn a few things from you. Let me up. We're gonna make one more run at this, and if it just disappears again, I don't care. I hate this side quest so much. Like, out of all the side quests and all the quests in Pandora, the Steady Wings quests, I genuinely hate them. Because I had the exact same issue the first time Slow, I did these quests. Steady. Each step will get you closer to your new home. It really doesn't, though. Not really. <sighs> we said no danger. Let's get out of this. I take it you didn't like that. I'll be careful. Sorry. Let's calm down. The queen's a little bitch. The queen can help herself find a new home. Anyways, let's talk to Louie at Greenwood Lab. At least that's someone we can actually help. King Lore Forest. Greenwood Lab. Open skies. Falls. Greenwood. Cannot fast travel while in combat. I am not in combat. I am literally not in combat. Is this what rage quitting in a single player game looks like? Pretty much, yeah. Like, I really, really do hate the Steady Wings quest because of the fact that they don't give you markers. And you have no choice but to pretty much walk everywhere. It's fucking stupid. And like you saw, it just glitched. We were literally right on where we were supposed to be. And it was just like, no. Come on, friend. I'm sure it'll be worth your time. Hi. Anything I can help with? Hey, get a load of this. Our Navi friend here avoided some RDA guys on their usual path. Said they were digging in the southeast. Thought something got lost in translation, but nah. Sounds weird as hell to me. Our friend here says it's nothing, and yeah, sure, maybe I'm overthinking this. But what if I'm not? Is it true? There are RDA burying dangerous things in secret? Yes, that is what I saw, and what I see all the time. Sky people doing things for their strange reasons. This is new, but hardly concerning. Where did you see the sky people digging? I do not recall completely. There was a meandering stream nearby. Mountains floating overhead. That is it. Okay, that's enough to locate it. I can take a look for you. My friend, that is a relief to hear. Another go find it yourself. The hunting party left from the 
coiling spool. Wherever the fuck that is. They crossed east over the tangled stream. And I guess we'll just start walking in that general direction. They so went east over the tangled stream. They left from here, they went east, they went uphill, so somewhere in this general area. Yep, we're already on part 15. This is a pretty long game just because of all the exploration and side quests and stuff like that. I'm done with it. I'm just being sure to. I'm done. Which is why we are trying to get all of our side quests done quickly and efficiently. Everything that can be done, just go ahead and get it out of the way. So that way when we stream again, we can just do main missions and finish the game and move on. I'm still trying to figure out a Fallout game to play because like I wanted, I was going to do Fallout 3, but Fallout 3 requires an upgrade to PlayStation because it's an old game so you can't just buy it outright. You have to have like a PlayStation Plus upgrade that gives you permission to play it for whatever reason and like we could do Fallout 76, but Fallout 76, although it does have a storyline to it, it's not exactly cohesive like a, a another Fallout game is. But I want to play a Fallout game because it's, it's Fallout Month. Fallout the series releases tomorrow. Ah, but it's just, it's just frustrating. I wish I could play Fallout 4. I really do wonder just exactly how much of these avatar streams is just me running around looking for unmarked shit. I guess I'll just keep running around on the hillside and hope to find the right thing. Like I said, I'm all for a little bit of exploration. But you should, like, give me at least a general area marker, and then, like, once I reach that area, you make the marker disappear, and I have to search within, like, a, like, say, three to five hundred meter radius for that area. But still, give me a marker to at least have a direction. Oh, hey, look, we found some King Lore flowers.
let's see here. I'm not seeing any metal, no shipping containers or nothing. Talisi? Maybe we can see him better from the sky. Ready to ride? Is it this? Nope, this is an entirely different hellhole of RTA stuff, I guess. Not involved with this. Because otherwise it'd update. Hello, Ralph. How big is the map? Too big. Uh, so, King Lore Forest is Area 1, Upper Plains is Area 2, and Clouded Forest is Area 3. It took three hours to just unfog Area 1, six hours to unfog Area 2, and five and a half hours to unfog Area 3. So it takes about that same time, if not double for some cases, to explore everything, find all of the little settlements, the RDA places, the field research labs, and then all the collectible items inside of it. Uh, we are on part 15, and we have, like, whenever we find and get into a new area, that's the first thing I do is un we unfog it. And then uh, we go around and find all the collectibles in it. So it's quite a big map, quite a big game. Oh, we found some RDA. Hey, y'all have like some metal shipping containers around here somewhere? No? Alright, I'm not waste- I'm gonna stop wasting time doing these from now on. I'm going to put up in the air, and I'm going to Google it. I don't want to hear a damn thing about me Googling it. Because I don't, I don't want us to spend way too much stream time just running around on something that should have a marker for it.
Supposedly, we literally just flew right over it. And probably ran right by it, so why didn't it update the game for us? Or update the side quest piece? Good catch, Talisi, considering that we were nowhere near the water. Game glitched or something. Because it's showing it literally right here. We'll follow along, see if we can't spot it somewhere else. Ah, there it is. Floating mountains. Good, good, good. Meandering stream. The RDA stash. Somewhere around here. Welcome back, uh, accurate. And yeah, the flying, the flying is very nice. Why can I not go five seconds without having your asses on me? Waste of their lives. Budgetary concerns on the different levels of water processing on Pandora called for a separate study on the efficiency of carbon filtration for water used on plants in our research labs. However, this is a crucial step as herbicides can pass freely through a reverse osmosis membrane. Okay, 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 sorry. Sometimes they scan these to check for anything suspicious. And my supervisor was right behind me as I was typing. I'll encrypt before I send. I'm good to go at midnight, and the tailor says he'll come too. He's given himself the code name Lion, but I swear he's chill. We'll be at the pickup point. Please, please, please be there. Please.
It says search the cargo site to find out what they were doing. Ah. Oh. I see, said the blind man. Take that marker off. Fast travel back. you are so let's go what sort of weird crap did they bury you won't believe this chocolate it's a human treat right i remember alma mentioning it these goons are really going around stashing away chocolate damn <laughs> sorry to put you through all that i get to add finder of chocolate to my list of achievements here right after the part where it says i crash landed and almost killed myself we're all figuring it out besides now you get to share chocolate with the others. Real nice way to say, yeah, you wasted my time. But nah, you're right. What is this chocolate? It smells hideous. Looks even worse. May I try some? Friend, you're going to enjoy this. At least I think you will. Hmm. A strange blend of bitterness and sweetness. What an odd snack. Yeah, you can never have just one. Help yourself. Thank you for bringing us this chocolate. I would bring you an Aronahe dish, but you understand. I know you're expecting me to be like, we did all that bullshit for chocolate, but I, I love chocolate. I'm a genuine chocoholic, like diagnosed. Went to a doctor over that shit and everything. Uh, so I would totally, I'd be right there with the RDA stashing chocolate. Keep that shit hidden. We don't share here. Alright, flavors of the past we're still waiting on, on uh, stuff for fuck steady wings. Severed bonds. Hunt ferals. Disturbing wildlife spotted around the shadow f field lab in the stolen hold domain. Chocoholic, is that a thing? Yep. Chocolate is actually an... It has addictive properties to it. And when I was a little, little girl, being autistic as I am, I was very picky about the foods I ate. But my parents noticed that I would literally always take chocolate. Even if I was sick, I would take chocolate. So chocolate was a good way for them to get me to eat food by saying, if you eat this much, you get this much chocolate in return. You need to go to the doctor. We'll give you some kind of chocolate treat afterwards. And they started, after a little while of that, they started re realizing that I would consistently eat excessive amounts of chocolate and, like, was needing it. And so they tried to wean me off of it. That didn't work. Uh, I had the equivalent of... doctor. The doctor himself said it was the equivalent of taking away meth from a meth head who had been using for months, if not years. Like that was the withdrawal symptoms I was having. And that's what it felt like, honestly. Never ha I've never tried meth, but like that's I, probably about as close as I could ever feel like it. I felt awful. I was very, very sickly. And he pretty much just said, well, her body has become so accustomed to having chocolate. It's just safer to let her have it. And, you know, just make sure that she keeps eating other healthier foods alongside of it. But if she wants the chocolate, give it to her. And, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a genuine chocoholic. I need chocolate. I'm not as bad as I used to be, but I still do keep chocolate pieces in, like, the refrigerator and stuff. So I can just grab a piece and eat it. I like chocolate. I need it.
We're looking for ferals to hunt. And they said it was somewhere around here. Be convenient to find like a dire horse and make it a little bit faster. Sounds weird. It is. Chocoholics are actually pretty rare. Like genuine diagnosed chocoholics are actually pretty rare. Alright game, are the ferals up the fields or are they down? Because I don't really want to go down if they're all up. But I don't want to keep exploring up if they're down. We'll try going down because in the other Severed Bonds quest, when we reached the field station that they were around, we literally just had to activate our Navi senses and they were right there. So they're supposed to be very, very close. And I do not see anything up that way. Are they sure the ferals are down here? Or around here? Some of them have been spotted around the Stone Lab Mountain. Hey you. Come here. Don't worry. You're gonna help us track some ferals. Oh, I hear them. They are out here somewhere. I think I'd be able to spot at least your scent trails. I mean, if some 
predators down there, but I don't think they're ferals. I don't hear them anymore. Seriously, you think it wouldn't be that hard to find these ferals out on the open plains? We found them easier in the forest. Yeah, you guys aren't ferals. I didn't know that the cloaked panthers came in such a dark color. Very pretty. Hello there, ferals. No, nope, you're not ferals either. I was hoping you were. Seriously, where are they? About to take this side quest and throw it out the window with steady wings if we can't find them. We have literally just made a big circle around where we're supposed to be and have not found anything. Because we, this is where it says to start at, Mountain Shadow Field Lab. And we have gone all the way around. Alright, we definitely, definitely should have been seeing them by now. Because like I said, with the other ferals that we've come across, they are literally right where they say we are. Like, we fast traveled to the other field lab in the King Lore Forest. And then as soon as we got there, all we had to do was look, and they were there. And... They are not here. Like, at all. I guess we're picking a different side quest. Because I genuinely don't know... 
square they could be. We're finding plenty of cloaked panthers, though. I think we're going to have to pick a different side quest. I think we got away! It sucks that we've wasted so much time on side quests that, like, we can't even really do anything with. But what am I supposed to do when they won't show up? Ferals are extremely easy to usually spot. They have extra strong scents, making them easy to spot on the ground and in the sky. And they're extra aggressive, meaning that yeah. even if you don't spot them, they spot you. I don't think there are even any ferals out here at all. I guess we're going to have to move on. This game seems very frustrating when it comes to the side missions. It definitely is. Especially when you are trying to stream the game. Like, it probably is less frustrating if you're playing it on your own. Just for fun. But as a streamer who is trying to show off the game, it is extremely frustrating. Live to fight another day! Yeah, there are no ferals around here. Plenty of cloaked panthers. But they are not feral cloaked panthers. <sighs> Woo! They launched my ass. Are you guys feral? Nope. Please don't. Not again. No! Alright. Let's pick a different side quest. Typical Ubisoft game? Yeah. Honestly. Enemy of my enemy. Priya is worried about a defector who has suddenly gone silent. He was last posted at Drill Outpost Alpha, which we took out. Somewhere. In the clouded forest. Yep, he was here. Cannot fast travel in combat. Is 
I'm not in combat. I'm as far physically from any combat as possible. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, Accurate. I hope you sleep well. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello. Hey, Priya. It's not good news. The outpost looks empty. No one's there. Really? The hell? I mean, why? That's a huge outpost. Why would they... Oh, no. I hope we haven't lost him. I'll give the place a closer look. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. <sighs> Tire tracks. Heavy vehicles. That might explain the silence. Oil. Oh, the smell. Easy to track, though. Are those... Thanator tracks? But what else? Looks like the RDA drove away. Abandoned the site after the attack. I wonder if... If it was a single animal, it's done a lot of damage. Hey, it looks like the outpost was attacked by a Thanator. It's done a lot of damage, but the RDA evacuated, so not many casualties. What? Like one Thanator? Wow, this guy must be really special to scare them all off. I say guy, but maybe it's a woman. A woman Thanator? Wait, doesn't matter. Any idea where the RDA's gone? They took their vehicles and left. I'll follow the oil and let you know when I found them. your hesitation. Instead, you must flow like a moth in flight. I'm gonna let those guys, I think they're called Echo Stalkers. Yep, Echo Stalkers. We're gonna let them get a little bit ahead of us. Even Echo Stalkers don't want to face up against a blade head. Impressive. Is that what they're called? Blade heads? It doesn't matter. Guys, a good radar mushroom. We have to get it for the celebration mural. Where's the other one? Yes, 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 yes. Fine. No, it said it was superior. There we go. That one was superior. Good. Great, we can do that quest at least.
seems pretty quiet. someone. Ah, oh, shit. Hope this thing works. Haven't got much time. We were attacked by a Thanator. Rumor is the commander wants us to go after him. I'll find out and drop this here if we have to move again. Ma'am, nothing to report. No sign of the beast. Command's gonna be up my ass with this thing. Chased by this bloody... What do they call it? Hunter Delta. Freak. Booby trap the place. Bait it. Sing it your mama's song. I don't care. Get it done. Otherwise tonight, then we go hunting. Hides in the old PSYOPs facility. <laughs> Nightmare of a Report back in two hours, and be ready to move. She was looking at a map. I'd say that old PSYOPs facility is maybe three clicks southwest. I've got to find out what they did to this thing. Talk soon. Want to hear more about those octopuses? Hey, I'm sorry, Priya. Oh, no. Don't say you're sorry, please. The Thanator got to them. He didn't make it. He left a last message for you. He talks about an octopus. Octopus? Yes, he didn't know they have three hearts, or that they can use tools. Biology nerd stuff. He also mentions a PSYOPs facility southwest of here. The RDA thinks that's where the Thanator could be. Well, clearly that Thanator's on the move, so don't hang around for too long, okay? We've had enough loss for one day. I'm gonna track it. Because we're actually looking for it. We have two of the three access codes. And that Thanator is holding the last one. Hmm. Three clicks to the southwest. It's not exactly helpful. Because I don't know what clicks are. There's Research Station Alpha, which we've already found. And there's Storage Depot Kiwa, which is where we are. Field winger, field hanger Wima. Hmm. I hope that's on another one that's like stuck because it says keep clearing feral activity sites and the severed bonds is a feral activity site. I'm conflicted on what to do. For right now, since we found the superior radar mushroom we need, let's go ahead and finish up the celebration mural, finally. The blue dot in the mountains is probably it. Blue dot in the mountains. There are lots of blue dots. Uh, let's see, we were we were right here, Storage Depot Kilo. Evergreen Station, that's where Priya romanced Anka. Ancestors Rest. 
see it right here, and it said it went to the southwest. Three clicks. The only thing that's southwest is Research Station Alpha. But, to be fair, it could be around there. There was one under the rocks. This dot right here, Blue Stone Haven. That's a, uh, they're a settlement that's looking for a superior dense bone, which is why they're blue instead of green. It's in the clouded forest somewhere, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, where is Tukru? Tukru? Ah. Ready to finish that mural, buddy? It is truly the perfect spot. A mystifying you. Fit for a masterwork. Did we do it? You are a true artist, my friend. Such drab armor. You need more color. I once dreamt I was a Zaku. It was beautiful. Hell yeah. Now the celebration mural is truly complete. Fuck yes. And of course it's raining. I literally was thinking that. I was like, watch it be raining. There we go. They are of the clan as much as we are. I like it. Fuck yeah. Well, at least we got that done. Let's go back to the mountain field shadow lab and see if maybe the ferals could have respawned, possibly. We'll call down to Lisi and use her to look around.
at this point, I'm, not, I'm honestly considering, like, could the ferals even live out here in this area? Because there's a bunch of clouded panther packs around here. And they are not feral. They are normal. Pretty sure the only creatures that they made feral were than thanators and viper wolves. Whoa! Like, could they even exist out here with all the cloaked panthers in the area? I think they'd do a pretty good job of taking them out. See, more cloaked panthers doing cloaked panther things. I'm hoping it's not glitched. Because I'm normally the type of player, and I have been for not this playthrough as well. Lots of ferals around. Should track down the rest. I was going to say, there's a dire horse that's died. Where are they? But normally whenever I see a feral, I just take it out immediately. I Let's rarely go, leave a feral feet. alive. Which makes me wonder if it's possible did I accidentally kill the pack of this one? Because that was feral activity back there. Just gonna double check you guys again. Please stop moving. I wanna make sure that you're not feral. Although I know you're not. Nope. I'm sorry for bothering you. Yeah. I'm like watching the other wildlife to see if maybe ferals are following them. But really, it's just the cloaked panthers in the area. Alright, hang on. Let's go back to... Should've set a marker where we spotted that dire horse. So... <laughs> I'm going to set a marker right here, and we'll fly around it. Yeah! Hello! Welcome in. We are currently attempting to hunt down feral wildlife, but we're having a bit of trouble with them not showing up. They're not, they're not here. And they're definitely supposed to be. It's weird because even whenever we, we hug, hovered over that dire horse yeah. and she said there's feral activity nearby, you could hear it roar, but there was none around, which makes me a little bit worried. That it might be glitched. Or that maybe I fucked it up somehow. Let me grab this balloon real quick. It's right here.
more cloaked panther. <gasps> a feral, right? No, or is that a black cloaked panther? No, it's just a black cloaked panther. Damn it. Where are they? I really do think at this point that they might be glitched. Because we, we should be seeing them. I'm going to chill us out right here and do a quick Google just to see like if there is an issue with this particular severed bonds glitching or if it's just am I not looking in the right spot? Yeah, it's not just me. just been flying around uh yeah it's not just me apparently this particular area is glitchy we should we should have actually flown right up on them and seen them as soon as we left out of the field lab so unfortunately i think this quest might be broken for us because of that and like we can keep checking back and seeing if they spawn in but this quest seems to be broken for us, which is sucky. Because there's a field lab right down there. We should have like literally walked out of the field lab and they were going to be scattered all along this plane. And they are most definitely not. Yeah, yeah. The only sign of them is this dire horse right here. There's absolutely nothing around them. What happened here? Oh, oh, oh. I've been looking for you. A signal? Better take a closer look. Just when we were about to give up too. Fuck yeah. I'm glad that we spotted it. Anka? I've managed to put down the feral. It was a tough one. Did it have an access code as well? Yep. I bet it's all I need to open the secure areas back at the PSYOPs lab. Time I went back for some answers. Let me know what you find. Fuck yes. 
So with the completion of severed bonds, that gets us all the codes for Feral Hunter. Also, let's, uh, it said I have material pouch that's full. Let me see here. That's weird. None of my pouches are full. Eh. Let's see here. It was in the cut right here. Oh, can we not fast travel to it? Stupid. That's fine. I'm just glad we found it. So that is exactly what happened. Is it was glitched in that I'd already killed all the ferals in the area. Oh, but it's fine because we were able to track down Echo anyway. We flew over it enough that it popped it up, which is good. Till you see, I don't feel like climbing. I'll give you a mushroom. See, didn't we open the door the last time we came through here? So that way we didn't have to go back through that way. Eh, it's fine. We'll go back through. It's no big deal. Drop. The code from that feral worked on that door. So we've already opened lab A, so this is lab B, and that's lab C back there. Ajir Bishara, personal note. Getting anxious about the hunters. One day they act calm, then the next they snap at each other for no reason. Could be ferals are truly lost. If neural whips are necessary for social behavior, then psyops, we, we may be engineering animal sociopaths. monster here. Not the poor animals. Dreaming of running away again. Dying peacefully somewhere in the forest. My atonement. But I'm a coward. A monster. Now and forever. You did the right thing in the end, Hajir. 
You found your courage. Anka, I found something from Hajir. I think you'll want to hear it. Okay. Send it over. So, is that everything in here? What the? Oh my gods. These are their neural whips. They're still reacting. That is both scary and depressing. That is so wild. The fact that the neural whips still work even with them not being attached. scan so badly. That thing? We've already done that. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, it, it completed that quest for us. Ow. We finished that one. Fuck yeah. Man, this place is creepy. Let's get out of here. Alrighty, in the meantime, I looked up a place where we might be able to find some superior sage mushrooms for the other quests that we have. The other, uh, uh, go, Nape Bake. I listened to the recording. Poor Hajir. The pain and fear in his voice. In the end, he decided he'd rather face death than inflict any more pain. 
the animal she loved so much. Knowing he overcame his doubts and did the right thing. It helps. Yeah. He was brave. He always was. Ah. Oh. Hajir. I tried to tell you, but you never believed me. Well, hopefully Hajir can rest peacefully with Awa, knowing that the ferals are gone. Superior mushrooms. Ah, perfect. Hell yeah. So, flavor of the past cook the nyape for Rayloon in Home Tree. So, we can just go ahead and fast travel there and use the cooking station there, which I'm pretty sure Rayloon stands right next to. Oh, right, and it's been, I think it should be, uh, 23 hours, so that this should be upgraded. What is updated. it you seek? Hell yeah. Resistance, scavenger, weapon pattern, me. Upper planes, trinket, and I already have this. Choose your way wisely. Fresh herbs bring the dish alive. Good. Good. That is progress. Relun, I'm here to make a trade on behalf of Setral, of the Kamatira. Setral, you said? I remember whole trading posts, some of the most curious ingredients there. What do you have for me, then? Kan Epe, a Kamatira specialty. Of course I know about Kan Epe, a highly acquired taste, a challenging drink. Familiar and awe bursts of flavor, all clamoring for attention, but gracefully somehow. A flavor that, like an ikran, will not be pinned down. Each sip brings forth a humble yet complex mystery. Only the Kamatire. Go on. Give this nectar to Setra. Her trading post was always an inspiration. Hell yeah. Also, real quick, while we're here, because we completed the celebration mural, and once again, it did not tell us, for some reason, that we got more than just the bracer as a gift. We also got paint.
This is the Celebration Mural Paint. Combined with the colors also on the mural itself. Heck yeah. Let's see here. I like I like the face paint, but I do want to pick a different body paint. And I still like that Uwal shadow shadow color. Yeah, that looks sick. Nice. All right, let's bring Satral her gifts. She is at the crooked seat. shoulder for better aim so you are the one Rezu has put up to do this I brought back some trades from other clans Aranahe and Zeswa delicacies leave me out of this our young Sar and two friend made these trades on your behalf Setra are you not curious in the slightest trades a handful of delicacies from someone I have never met. Keep it. I really can't. Relun and Kin both wanted to thank you specifically for the Kanepe. Relun and Kin? After all these years, they are well? Yes, they're fine. Looks like you all remember each other. Young one, I remember every person, every face that passed by my trading post. Their smiles, how they laughed, their stories. I know that these things cannot replace the welcoming of friends, of meeting new faces. I only wanted to let you hope for a day where it might be possible again. Those days, they are gone. But this, it is a touch of warmth. It is enough. Thank you, Sarentu. And I suppose, Rezu. You as well. Nice. Another side quest bites the dust. The only thing left now is the steady wings thing again. Ugh. Uh, oh, actually, we can do the finding home stuff. Because, yeah, we collected all of those. Y'all want to do finding home? We can do that. All right. So, the reason why I wanted to wait to get all these all at once is because they're all connected to each other and it'll just be nice and smooth to find them all at once. One second. Alright, so I found an RDA dossier containing work orders and notes on someone called Nathan Williams, an RDA botanist, and a photograph was attached. domain somewhere near the center of tangled stream the shadow wood somewhere near the center of tangled stream this is tangled stream and this is tangled stream so this is the center oh fast travel
shadowed wood. And it's tangled stream center. Yeah. And it should be right around here. Let's call down to BC. One more hour and then you can go help me. Be super careful whenever you do leave out, honey. It's raining. Alright. Wow, oh, there's a hammerhead titan just I'm going about. kind of hard to see yeah. with it being nighttime. Oh, I didn't mean to disturb you, Hammerhead. I'm so sorry. However, I do remember this much. We're not just looking for like a random spot. We're looking for a... Why are you screeching? Whoa! Jeez, what was, what was that about? Damn, Talisi. Anyways, we're looking for a an actual hideout. <laughs> It'll look like a metal box. Which is why it being nighttime is kind of a struggle. Facing the floating mountains. <laughs> I'm gonna set you down right here, okay, Felicia? You'd be good. He was facing the floating mountains. You could see the storm sky, Sam, but bamboo. Man, I wish we could just pull this up. Like, if you're tracking this, just have the image pulled up permanently. I think he took the picture right around here. Because you can see storm sky bamboo on this side, floating mountains over on top, regular trees below. Or is that all bamboo? I can't tell. Let's move back into the center of the Tangled Lake. Or Tangled Stream.
sleepy hammerheads. So this is back at the center of the stream. Mm, but these images, these backgrounds don't look right either. This is another reason why I wanted to leave Finding Home until very last, because it's a lot of running around looking for something and a lot of doing this. I remember the actual base being like right around it. Hey! Man, you would have been so much easier to see at night. So, from this point forward, this is like what we're looking for for the finding home stuff is these little temp bases. Inside, we will find a comic book page. Priya, I found some drawings. Oh yeah? Plans for something? No, more like illustrations. They seem to tell a story. No way! A comic? Out in Pandora? I think that RDA botanist was drawing them. Alright, we're gonna, uh, just like we did for the quests themselves, we're gonna wait until we find all the comic pages so we can go through them seamlessly. But that was part one. Let's grab part two. Explorations. Down here. This one is taken in the Gossamer Wakes domain somewhere near the Mentors River. Gossamer Lakes, somewhere near the Mentors River. They were facing the archway from the north. Somewhere, maybe right around here, I think, if I remember. Yeah, because the archway was facing that way. And there's that giant tree. Yep. I think that's where we need to go. Yep.
find your calling. What the? <laughs> More of you. You got a friend around here, or is it just you? Check, make sure there was nothing else besides the comic book page. Tight working space. Alright. Finding home part three. Seems it's taken in the rising spires domain somewhere downstream of Sister Step. Rising Spires, Sister Steps. Rising Spires, Sister Steps. Should be like right around here, based on the picture. Yeah, because it's looking up into the Sister Steps. So we should be able to. Fast travel, where'd I put my marker? Right here. Not gonna lie, some of these I'm like going off of just solely memory. Because I spent way too long looking around for them one at a time whenever I come across them as they were. And it really frustrated me that I, like, I did that. Because I wish I'd waited to find all of them at the same time so I could have read through the comic all at once. And all that suffering kind of locked the locations in my brain. Could be the place. Yep. There's a picture. Hard to see with all these trees. There it is. Let's find the next one. We were on part four or part five? Part four. It was taken in the Celebration D Valley domain somewhere by the Great Tusk. Celebration Valley somewhere by the Great Tusk. Celebration Valley, Great Tusk. Uh, yes. Where was this one? It was somewhere like right around here. Yeah, I think it was like right around here.
What what was that? What was that creature? Hell is that? Ow, I keep knocking my head on the thing. Can't find the door. Oh, it's making all that noise. Weird. I think the RDA just glitched a little bit. Anyways, uh, part five. This was located in the Stonehold Domain, somewhere near Weaning Pillar Valley. Stonehold, Weaning Pillar. Stonehold and Weaning Pillar. Stonehold. pillar wasn't it somewhere like way up here if I remember correctly it was very far away we'll have to use two AC to get there <laughs> damn she just like really flew in let's go till you see Yep, it's in this direction. They wouldn't just have it out and about, sitting out in the open like this. They hit it. Yeah. probably in one of these, uh, what are these called? Sheltering bushes. Mm, I don't think it's in this one. Don't worry. You're gonna help me check the others. Not in here. Oh. We do not tolerate ferals. It's not in here. Oh, jeez. Whoa! They're in the trees! Although these are trees, they're in the grass! Whew. Thanks for coming back to me. That was scary, wasn't it? No, 
now I don't even know which bush we checked, which ones we haven't. It's not here. I feel like I remember it being very high up around here. I know we already checked this one. it's whatever that little dark spot is but like I feel like I remember it being very high up in the stone hold in here eh. no there it is so it wasn't in the bush pods, it was surrounded by them. All right, let us grab the next one. Part six is taken in the northeastern part of the Shattered Bridge Domain. That's not helpful. Um, northeastern part of Shattered Bridge. It looked like they were looking at the bridge. Maybe? Like right about here-ish? I don't know why I backed out of that. Uh, we can fast travel right here. Also, all the bell sprigs that are inside of the drill outposts that we cleared out, I will go ahead and collect off screen. Because it's literally just running around and touching them. So, nothing entertaining. Now for part seven. Investigate the signal pre-detected. It's coming from an abandoned RDA site near a waterfall in the Northwest Cradling Pines location. Is that the one that has a bop to it? Hang on. 
Northwest Cradling Pines location. This, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll fast travel to, I guess here. Ah, uh, did we never actually, that might be why there's no picture for it. We haven't actually gotten the, uh, we didn't pick it up, did we? That computer terminal. Save me a moment of time. Let's go, Telisi. The way the branches creak in the Yeah, yeah. All right, now we got a picture for it. It's taken in the Crimson Great Wood Domain, somewhere southwest of the River's Eye, by the River of Ancestors. Crimson Great Wood, southwest of the River's Eye. Southwest of the River's Eye, by the River of Ancestors. This one's not ringing a bell to me. I feel like it was like somewhere along here, I think. Southwest of the river's eye along the river ancestors. Yeah, I think it's somewhere along there. sure we're in the right area. This feels familiar. I just don't know if we're in the right spot.
just not sure, to be honest. River Ancestors is a big river. Cause it said it was it said it was southwest of the river's eye. I don't feel like that's southwest enough. Unless it's like right directly southwest of the river's eye and on the river of ancestors is it across it ooh it's a strong river very strong Yes, this this is the area. We should have to find it. This is it though. At least I'm pretty sure. I'm not gonna lie, all the clouded forest starts to look the same after a while. Let me check that picture again. Yep, it's right around here. There it is. Ow. Part seven, done. Ow, on to part eight. Part eight. Cascading Stones Domain, somewhere near the eastern part of Ensnared Lake. Hang on, hang on. I actually remember that one. Uh, here. Ensnared Lake. They were like right here. I remember this one. Cannot fast travel in combat. I'm not in combat. I mean, I hit my head, but I'm not in combat. And nobody's attacking me. Stop being weird, game. I tried to gather dawn fruit yesterday, but it was just the leaves were gray. I was like, this will be a nice, simple little jog. No, it's not. This is the clouded forest region. <laughs> Finding all the comics.
around here somewhere. Just gotta find it. easy to hide these places in the clouded forest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like right around in here. Maybe it was a little bit lower down. I know it's hard to see because of like all the fog and the rain, but you can see what they're taking a picture of from here. Just gotta find it. All these rocks and trees, it's so easy to hide around here. And the rain doesn't help either. There it is. This comic page has your name on it, Priya. What? Your name. Scribbled in the margin. That's weird. I don't know this guy. I'm pretty sure I don't. All right, finding home part nine. Taken into Cradling Pines Domain, somewhere north of Warrior's Plunge, Carver's River, Cradling Pines. Plunge, Carver's River. Was it this one that was like right up here? One that was sitting on top of the cliff? I think it was. Be careful going home, sweetie. It's raining, so be extra careful in the rain. There's something written on one of these comic pages. Solitude Station. That's one of our field labs. Oh, how did this RDA dude know the name? That's concerning. What's even more concerning is that 
these aren't all the pages. There's 11 of them. Weird. There's definitely 11 of the comic book pages. Let me Google that real quick. Ah, that's why. The other one is located over here in the Yatva, which we can't get to right now. Man, I was hoping we could get all of them and go over the comic book pages. Man, I wanted to go over the comic book pages. But we have to continue, we have to do the main mission stuff before we can get to that point. Sergeant, Sergeant Totems, talk to Renella. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and we can turn in what we can, specifically with Renella, because she does want us to go and talk to her about the Sergeant Two Totems. So we can finish the stream on that since we don't have the. We can't get to the other comic book pages right now, which sucks. Mm. We should all follow her into battle. The forest hums with life again. Hmm, looks like we have a couple of dialogue points. I'm doing points. something worthwhile now. Giving back what I can. Hey, if it ain't my knight in shining armor. I wanted to talk well, about something like that. You know, you get the idea. Priya, are you okay? <gasps> I think they like my jokes. <laughs> that defector we couldn't rescue. I knew there was a risk. I know it with all of them. It's just, it doesn't make it easier to react when we lose one. But I don't want you to feel guilty either. This isn't on you. Thank you. You're gonna be okay? Yeah, yes. I'm like the octopuses I used to study. Got more than one heart. Figuratively speaking, of course. We've got to keep going. So much more for us to save. Life out here, it's rougher than I expected. I'm still adjusting. It would have been easier to ignore my damn conscience. Do like the rest of my family and learn to be a good little soldier. I'm guessing you're not the type who can resist doing the right thing for long. I don't suppose I am. You came back? Are you sure? I want to feel more at one with Pandora. I still can't believe you found all of the Sarentu totems. You know... They made me think of the humans here. Priya told me about Earth a little bit. It's not like they said in Tap. Their home is dying. And when it's gone, there'll be nothing left of their history. Nothing but memories. And those will fade too. We... We have our ways. We have Ewa. Tasyu. These totems. The whole of this land to reconnect with our ancestors. If the RDA turn our home into a scorched land, like they did their own, then all our past, all our stories will die forever. We can't let them take this from us. We're in this together, Rinella. We'll make sure they don't destroy our home. I know. We won't give up. Here, for your designs. It feels good to be creating the Sarentu future. Nice. Let's look around real quick and see if anybody else wants to talk to us before we end the stream. What kind of material is that? Hmm. 
Maybe I'll take a break. All right. We have done all that we can for the That's time being here. before going on to other side uh, main missions. So, the next time that we stream, which could be tonight, it really depends on how I feel. Like, I, I slept later than I planned to, but I'm not feeling that great today. So, like, I, I don't know if I'll be able to stay awake. If I stay up, we'll stream tonight, we'll do main missions. If not, then I'll stream tomorrow around the same time, and we're going to do main missions. Either way, the next time that we stream, we will be doing main missions. We are going to pretty much just plow through them there is a certain point where we can take a quick stopping point we can take a small break and we can clear up the remaining what sort of looking for quests oh hey we can talk to Ken now about the Zeswa contributions finally I don't know why that said it was glitched or why we couldn't continue it when he's not involved in the next main missions, but they fixed that, or that's fixed, so let's turn that in real quick. But, um, yeah, the only thing that we really need to turn in in terms of side quests, now that this is unlocked, uh, I wish the sky is the stuff. reboot system for Alex in the HQ. And we can just turn that in whenever. But otherwise, once we get back on, we're going to be doing main missions. Main missions. And main missions. And only main missions. Might keep an eye out for that um, other comic book page while we're out and about, but I'll main be. missions. The Zeswa see you, friend. May your step be as light and easy as a child's. You share with the clan, the clan shares with you, and together we shall see all needs met. Nice. Oh, I need to talk to him. Do I need to talk to him again? You must try this cave cheese. By its smell, it has matured since well before I curdled my first. It smells strong. Ha! <laughs> strong indeed. Enough to scare a storm glider off their nest. But I can see you are busy, as warriors always are. Just remember what Sosul says. One must make time for enjoyment as well as work. You must have missed your friend. Zanke did not taste the same without Sosul. I only wish I had visited more often. Why didn't you? I thought he had forgotten his whole life, our friendship. But you changed your mind. I realized perhaps he, like you, had an important task to complete. When I found him, he was lonely. But it was nothing a good chug of Zanke could not fix. I'm glad he has his drinking partner back, honestly. But yeah. So now that we've gotten that cleared up and done, well, we can concentrate on main missions officially. Uh, in the off-screen time, what I might do is take the time to build our Sarin tube gear now that we have all of the designs to do so. Um, the Sarin tube gear, unlike other gear, requires very, very specific materials of exquisite property. So they take a little bit of time to track down. Where did Talisi go? Get. Ah. She landed amongst the Zakru. Do you like them, girl? Aren't they cute? But um, they are extremely hard to track down the specific pieces for the Saren 2 gear. So I will spend off-screen time tracking them down and see if I can't get us a Saren 2 gear built for our main missions. But if you spent time here today with me, the Not V, and Talisi. And thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to spend it here with us. I greatly appreciate you doing so. I hope that everybody has a very wonderful day. If you're going home from work today, be safe going home. If you're leaving home to go to work, be safe going to work. Either way, be safe. I will see you all at some point. 
either tonight or tomorrow for us to do some main missions and hopefully soon within a stream or two finish avatar frontiers of pandora so thank you all so very much for being here i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you next time goodbye